two things. One is um, I grew up with a mother who very much liked quiet, uh, and she always made sure that the, it was very quiet in the house and she didn't like noise at all. And the second reason, which I actually thought of today, that I find quite scary, and you just said it, and, and it clicked with me. And you said, uh, the voice is how we represent ourselves. And I'm thinking that if I change the way I speak, which, uh, you know, if, if I speak differently, I suppose, it might change who I am or how people perceive me. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that's also in a little bit of an issue, I guess. Uh, tell, me, tell me how I can deal with that one. Okay. Well, we have two issues here, and I want to address both of them because they're both extremely important. The first one is uh, your uh, analysis that, that this might come from, in your case, your mother. This is completely right on because this is normally where it comes from. It comes from upbringing. Some person close to you uh, in, in some sort of position of authority in your childhood or youth growing up uh, who would tell you or people around you close to you that matter to you that would tell you not to be loud or you know all these little things that people tell us it can be just a remark but it can as well be like in your case uh, your mom really didn't like noise she liked the house to be quiet so it, it would be natural for you to grow up uh, having to be quiet so you learn that this is a good quality to be quiet and to not be quiet to be loud uh, is a bad quality or this is not something that's wanted and so you that's learn right. internally you are conditioned into believing that once you raise your voice above a certain level ooh, that's not good so mm -hmm. so so this is the first thing it is definitely conditioned and we don't even notice it but I mean of course you work with yourself you are a coach and you have been through a lot of of uh, evolution sort of personally so you are aware of these things you know where it's coming from and and it's that certain that this is where it's coming from the second thing that that we need to address is uh, uh, your point with you don't want to be changed you don't want to have that that because you change your voice then all of a sudden you will be perceived differently and uh, you're absolutely right that's very important that when you do any sort of uh, training of this kind you don't want it to change you you want to basically enhance you so this is not something that will change you and make you a different speaker or a different type of communicator altogether this is just something that you can utilize uh, when when it's appropriate so when you need to be louder when you need to uh, step into a little bit of a stronger character or you just basically need to to shout out a big call of, of people then you can without getting in trouble without uh, damaging your voice and without feeling uncomfortable doing it both psychologically and and physically so it's not changing you it's just adding some extra tools to your toolbox so that you have even more to offer but still being Marsha you know and and that's very that very sense. important to 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 keep that and 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 make sure that you stay authentic you stay you because that's your that's your ace you know that's we we have only one of us and therefore you know we are unique and it's important to to keep that uniqueness so don't worry about that we will absolutely uh, keep you where you are. We just add a few more to tools so that you have them available and so that it's not uncomfortable. So it's, uh, it's break time, people. We're going to have a short break. Uh, 